Wave 5 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass recently came out and it added 8 new tracks to the game. In this video, I'll be giving my personal opinion on them and I'll be ranking them from worst to best. Let's get started. In last place, we have GBA Sunset Wilds. This track is very flat, besides a bumpy section at the end, there are a couple of shy guys you have to dodge, but that's the only obstacle to dodge besides some mud puddles. There isn't much else to say about this track other than it adds nothing of value to the game. In 7th place is Wii Koopa Cape, and some of you are probably confused confused as to why it is so low on my list. Basically, Nintendo took one of the most legendary Mario Kart tracks of all time, and they sucked all the personality out of it. In Mario Kart Wii, there's a cool underwater section where you go through a tube, and the tube is completely full of air. Well, in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Nintendo had the genius idea of having half the tube instead of just a full tube. This basically means that the water flowing is gone, so the sped up racing is out of the picture, as well as the spinny, shocking electric things, which added a lot of personality to the original track. Basically, Nintendo stripped away some of the best parts of the track, and that is why it is in 7th. In 6th, we have Tor Athens Dash. This track is based on Athens, Greece, and features a lot of Greek ruins. On lap 1 of the track, you have the option to drive over the top of some of the ruins, and later you go into a cave full of bats. Lap 2 has you going up a long flight of steps, and that's really the only thing memorable from this lap. Lap 3 has to be the best lap, though, because you start by gliding into the city, and later you go through a twisty path where you have to dodge a bunch of falling rocks. You end up going up the flight of stairs again, and that's it. Overall, this track is decent. At number 5, we got Tour Los Angeles Laps. This track has you going through California beaches, and the visual detail that went into this course is top tier. Overall, the track keeping interesting, always throwing new stuff at you. In one area, you are gliding over a baseball stadium, and at one time, you go through a mining zone. This track also has you dodging crabs at one point, and is full of many turns and whatnot. In fourth place is Tour Vancouver Velocity. This track has you racing through the street of Canada as well as a beautiful nature trail with twisty bridges. You also interrupt a hockey game in which you must dodge hockey players while on the ice. You also get to look at all the cool buildings in Vancouver while driving in the city and overall this is a really fun track. In third place, we have Wii Moonview Highway. This track is basically a better version of Toad's Turnpike and is almost exactly the same as the Wii version. There are almost no differences in track layout, so it basically feels like an HD version of the original track, which is fine. Moonview Highway was already a really good track, so it didn't need much improvement. My favorite thing about this course has to be the fact you go from a forest area to a big city where you go under a bridge. It definitely adds a lot of depth and makes the track more interesting since there are different sections to race through. Overall, this track is pretty dope. In second, we got GCN Daisy Cruiser. This track has you racing on a moving cruise ship. Part of the track has you dodging moving tables, while another part has you driving through a water-filled room. There is also a pool on deck. And Nintendo added swimming Goombas to dodge, which is a really dope inclusion. Overall, this track was really well done and is one of the best booster course pass tracks. And in number one as the best track in Wave 5 is Squeaky Clean Sprint. This is a course that takes place in a bathroom, which I personally think is a weird choice. I think something like a kitchen would be more interesting to race through, but this track is still pretty good. You drive through a sink and later into a giant bathtub. You proceed to go in the pipe system where someone apparently lost their ring. At one point, there is even an obstacle course on the bathroom floor. Close to the end of the lap, you fly over a toilet which shoots out water for some reason. Unless you're tripping balls, toilets don't do this. Anyway, this track was pretty good overall, and the Mario decorations all over the area are pretty dope. Well, that's the end of my video. Thanks for sticking till the end, and if you want to see more dope gaming content full of swag, just subscribe to my channel. All the good things in life are free, and it costs nothing to subscribe, so just remember that. Anyway, peace out.